I started my journey when I moved to Germany from Kingston in 2016 to do my master's in architecture. Before this point, I had never lived abroad before. I had of course visited other countries, but normally with friends and family. Being here in Germany alone forced me to grow up fast. Here I was in a country, no family, no friends and no lifeline. There was a disjointedness that swept through me, an echo. My name is Hope Bartley. I'm a mixed media artist and architect from Jamaica, and I'm based in Munich, Germany. This is my first solo exhibition. Uh, the topic is Convergence, the Death of Ego, Rebirth of Self. Uh, the focus of, of this exhibition is to uh, appeal to the problem that men in the 21st century do face with the new requirements of masculinity. The question is how do we adapt to a changing time uh, to still maintain our, our masculinity but at the same time adapt it into, into the context in a way that we need it now. In a world where the battles of old have evolved, the need for warriors has shifted. Now it is not the sword that prevails, but the heart. We seek not warriors clad in armor, but fathers, nurturers of love. In the tapestry of our society, love is the thread that weaves us together. The harbingers of love do not wage war, but they build bridges. They understand the language of the heart, the power of compassion, and the art of giving and receiving love. My work for this exhibition was appealing to the inner child, the little soul. You know, it's, uh, it's appealing to this child that was told um, it's not okay to cry, boys don't cry. You know, complaining is a woman, you know, my love, talk now. You know, telling that child that, hey, it's completely okay to feel vulnerable and to express the vulnerability. You know, and uh, one of the factors really important me is to get through this work, you know, looking at the suicide rates, how many men are all over the world, you know, um, because men make up 79% of the suicides all over the world, while women make up the majority of uh, people who are, are participating in therapy. Um, and I showed them, first of all, there's, there's an issue that they recognize what is a problem. In the first place, and um, by the time we do recognize that it's a problem, it's a little too late. And so it's just trying to, trying to normalize this sensitivity and the ability to, to realize that something is, is wrong. You know? I think this can only be achieved if you're first able to, to come in contact with the emotional realize that it is indeed okay to be vulnerable. Canvas, a fusion of grey and black shades, weaves an abstract landscape that mirrors the emotional turbulence of a profound departure. Two central figures command attention, one drowning in anguish, 
The other, a mere spectral presence embodying the lingering essence of our departed friend. These two figures navigate the expanse of a water body, a symbol of life's adversities, where the primary character, a portrait of grief, pulls a spectral friend along. Within this artistic tapestry, the interplay of textures and nuanced brushwork unveils the intricate layers of emotion. Love lost encapsulates the universal experience of navigating the void left by a departed friend. In the crucible of their journey, men grapple with the echoes of their youth. The armor of eagle, once forged to shield their tender souls, now stands as a sentinel, both guardian and warden. As children, they crafted these defenses, shielded themselves from the world's harsh storms. These protective layers, like an intricate tapestry, were woven to save, to preserve. Yet as they navigate the labyrinth of adulthood, these veils become veils obscuring the vulnerability. The armor they forged to guard their hearts now veils their authenticity. It becomes a barrier, a shroud, that mutes their ability to embrace intimacy and form unbreakable friendships. His arms stretch and his body contorts as he attempts to reach a specific point on his back. This point and gesture mirrors the struggle to access parts of ourselves that remain distant and concealed. The tension in his posture hints at his emotional effort required to delve deep within. Nestled at the center of his back rests the butterfly, its presence speaking volumes. Symbolizing fragility and vulnerability, the butterfly embodies the essence of the man's unexplored softness. Its intricate wings echo the intricate layers of human emotion that often remain hidden beneath the surface. Reason, you know, I, I came on this board, you know, using other self-portraits. You know, my goal was to first give the officer balances before I could even try to attack the topic of masculinity as a whole. And first I have to understand myself and my own issues. And so I started this work, you know, because I, I really thought that by doing self-portraits, I could really get into myself, get into my mind, get into my thoughts and really understand my ego, you know, in a way that would really indeed lead to, to rebirth. And so, you know, that's why I grew up with this body of self emotions Because I think I thought at the moment that this was my, my path to uh, Catholicism.
many men grapple with loneliness. It's an unspoken burden, a silent shadow that follows them. Loneliness can make even a room full of people feel empty. The longing for authentic connections, the yearning to break down their emotional barriers, is a fundamental part of the human experience. In this visual narrative, it unfolds a profound journey of self-discovery and acceptance. The central figure, often fragmented and wounded, seeks solace in the gentle cradle of self-embrace. Here the canvas becomes a sanctuary, a cocoon of warmth and understanding. It underscores the importance of acknowledging one's own pain and fragility, extending the same compassion we readily offer to others to the most important person of all, ourselves. Childhood friends navigate the issue of male relationships, which oftentimes remain superficial because of a lack of understanding of affection, something that was not taught to us. Furthermore, the fear of being classified as soft or feminine hampers our truest expression and limits our ability to connect with the other person. This lack of ability to connect leads many men down a path of loneliness and despair. This work is an evocative journey into the depths of personal struggle, where the inability to give voice to the inner turmoil becomes a physical manifestation of pain. It reflects the profound connection between the mind and the body. The way our emotions left unspoken can manifest as physical pain and discomfort. In this case, a throbbing migraine. This piece encapsulates a period when words failed to express the tempest within, and the consequence was a numbing, relentless throb settling at the base of my skull. 